to our new RT3. This is a planetary grinder that has a, uh, a seat on it and as well as a remote control. Um, it has an adjustable boom here. It moves down here so you're able to get in the seat and as you see uh, this control panel here it has the drive speed and it has the head speed left and right forward and reverse it also has a um, your gauges here to tell you your RPMs um, or if you need to reprogram it for some any kind of electrical reasons um, also has a headlight an LED headlight the reason why we have the LED headlights are is one if you're working at night two if you are have uh, uh, scratches are really hard to see in floors at your finer grit. This helps amplify the scratches. It also has a 15 horse motor. Uh, what makes some of our stuff unique too as well is uh, 220 single phase or three phase. It has a third wheel for transport and it's removable, a foot base. And then also a, an adjustable boom here. The adjustable boom goes up and down. What this does is it swivels. It keeps you from running into your cords. Uh, it has the locking wheels for the drive. So when we're going to go ahead and, and run this machine on the remote system, then we're going to go ahead and lock those in. If you want to push it manually, you can as well. It has a handle here with an adjustable handlebars and an LED light as well back here. So you can see your scratches if you're worried about that. Uh, so you can manually push this. And this is also when you want to trans transport it, put it in your trailer. It has an inverter that understands the single phase or three phase as well. Real simple. This machine here has a two year bumper to bumper warranty. Um, it also has a, an attachment to hook up the vacuum. And we're going to show you that here shortly. So we're going to go ahead and lock in the drive wheels. So you simply come down here and screw this in. Get to wiggle it a little bit. Then it'll lock in. Once you're locked in, you're there. Now when you go to, to unlock it, you simply loosen this up and this will pop out. You kind of sometimes have to just give it a quick wiggle and it'll pop out. So we lock that side in. And so one of the tricks too is your wheels here just kind of wiggle it back a little bit. And lock in your drives. Now that our drives are locked in, go ahead and tilt the machine back. Make sure you watch out for your boom so you don't bend it. It does come apart for transportation purposes. So on our transport, it slides out. And you put it in your trailer or it goes right here. And then what you want to do is you want to lower the boom all the way down. So now you can, your space is a lot smaller. You move the handlebars this way and your space is con confined. So we're going to go ahead and put this back up. Put our cable back up. 
And we are now going to put our diamonds on, or what we refer as tooling. Go ahead and lean it back. This machine is very well balanced in the correct spot. It has 945 pounds of head pressure. And we are now going to remove our wheel. This is a planetary system, so you see one head turns one way and the other heads turn the other way. Um, a floating shroud, this is not a steel shroud, the reason why we like these shrouds is because they flex more. If you hit something hard enough with a steel shroud or metal, you're either A, going to dent it, or B, you're going to shatter it and crack it. They do, they do crack uh, on those, a lot of people are, unless it's a machined piece of metal, and it's, if it's cast, it's going to crack. You're going to have problems with it. So we use a, uh, a poly uh, plastic material that's very durable, very strong. As you see, our shroud adjusts up and down so it floats with the floor. Uh, our next system is our, is our magnetic. This is our big earth magnet. Then these are what we call our resin holders. And they simply go on just like this. And so, when we keep doing that, put all those on there. Our metals, when we go to put our metals on, they have holes in them. Real simple. It's a quick change system. So you just put the metals on like that. So when you go to remove your metals, you just take the screwdriver and pop it off. Same with the resin holders, pop them off. So we're going to now go ahead and just, we're going to run resins on this one. We have all the parts here in the U.S. We are the U.S. manufacturer of this. Uh, we have all the parts ready and available, so if anything was to ever go wrong, we can fix it. Go ahead and make sure the dust shroud is down. We're going to now move to our Vacuum. Look up our vacuum. I'll show you why this makes it so unique. Our vacuum system will hook up, this cord will hook up into here. We still only have one lead. So we only have one cable to worry about instead of two. What makes our vacuum so unique is 220 single phase vacuum uses a blower motor uses a true blower motor, not some small motors. This is also what we call a self-cleaning vacuum as well. So we're going to show you the internal of this vacuum. Constantly keeping it clean so the filters never get impacted with dust. This vacuum also has a program where you can program it to to start and stop. So you can go through a period of cycles and then it'll stop and then it'll let all the dust drop out of the bag. So you can see the bags going here, real simple. We're going to hook the vacuum up to the grinder because you don't want another hose. We try to eliminate all the cords and the hoses that you're dragging around. So, real simple, hook up your power here. Take this bar, lift it up a little bit, and it slides in between here. Once you get it to that point, we have these rods. Slides in there. 
and then there's one up here as well. You put that on, and then lock that down. Tightens up. Your vacuum now is attached to your grinder. Our wheels are locked in. Now, one of the cool things about this vacuum too as well is um, we have a T that actually can go down here to collect any, if you're doing a real heavy grind, it'll collect the excess dust if the vacuum doesn't pick it up from the, from the front. So it just gets the floor cleaner and cleaner so you don't have to do as much cleanup. We take our hose here and we attach it to our vacuum here. Okay, we are now going to lower the boom. You want to move the boom down so that way you can get into the machine. If it's up here, you tend to kind of run into it and bang on your knees. So move the boom down, get in, bring it up. Go ahead and turn on the vacuum. step out. Now, let's say I need to step away from the machine for a minute. We're going to now run the remote control. When using the remote control, make sure your wheels are locked in. Make sure it says mobile. Turn it to mobile. Make sure that your forward and back is in the neutral position. If it's not, it'll only go whatever direction it is. So make sure it's in neutral. Take the remote and hit start. You see a green light, remote signal. It means it's reading its... You want to make sure this is in neutral as well. And you'll know because the light on your vacuum will turn on too. And if you notice, the remote is not flash blinking or fast blinking, so it's slow blinking. That means we're connected. Go ahead and hit on. And we're
or a neutral position. And we can go in full reverse. Left, right. We can also go forward. Adjust our grinding speed. And you can tell your RPM by this. What we call our head speed. Our move speed is here. How fast you want it to go. We can make it crawl really slow if we wanted to, or we can make it go really fast. Something happens, you were to run into something out there, paying attention, where does he stop? You hit this, it shuts it completely down. And then you just turn it to unlock the stop. Pull up on it, turn it and pull up, and we're live again. So if it throws a diamond or whatever, then just hit the emergency stop there. You can also hit it here too as well.